Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's keep building that Porto Negra. Okay, so it was Jen's turn and she, was signed, she has to decide which card she's going to play. Does she want to build more bricks over here to get the area bonus? Does she want to come over here so she can get the build card? Well, I think, well first of all, she's got to choose what card she's going to play. Three actions or two actions? I think she'll go for a big three action. So she's going to keep this off to the side. This is the card she's playing. She's got three actions. She's used her torch, so she, does, she can't get a fourth. And what is she going to do? Although it's interesting. Oh, I didn't realize that. If she, if she builds here, she'll get another torch, so she could do another action this turn. I see. Well, okay. I think, first of all, she's going to buy, and this is a wild card, she's going to buy anything. She's going to buy the last black brick, which cost her one. And so, in the same way, I cornered the market on yellow. Jen's cornered the market on black. There's no more to be had. Although, it's interesting. We are getting low on bricks. At the beginning of a player's turn, if there are not seven bricks in this region, we have to refill back up to 14. So, these areas aren't going to stay empty for long. But anyway, so Jen's bought a brick. Now she's going to buy another brick, a white brick specifically. And so that's going to cost her five bucks. And now she is going to, hmm. All right, so she did that. She builds with that there. So she wants to build this so she can get the extra bonus, so she could do a bonus action. But I mean, she doesn't want to waste the opportunity. I mean, because, you know, she's got three black bricks. She could build them over here and score, uh, you know, and score another one of these. So as much as she wants to build right here, I think she's going to pass on it. Her third action, though, is going to be to build. And she's going to pay one buck to move clockwise one region. You can only ever move clockwise. You can't go counterclockwise. She's going to build on the wall. She's going to build a white, which she has. And so that gets her five points. One, two, three, four, five. And a wall card. So she's now got a set of two as well. All right. And so she can't go any farther, which is really painful. It, it really hurts to throw that. Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. She doesn't have to. I mean, her other card lets her build as well. So I don't think she's, she's going to wait a little bit. Yeah. Because she doesn't want to throw away a chance to get five bucks. This is the best return you can get. So Jen isn't going to build. So she didn't move over. She'll stay where she is. Instead, she's just going to get five bucks. She'll build next turn. So that was her turn. She got a couple bricks, made some money. That got discarded. All right. And so she hasn't grabbed this. She's not worried about it, though, because she knows I have no white bricks. So she, she figures she's probably got a pretty good chance of being able to grab that next turn. So now it is my turn. Once again, I got to check. Um, oh, actually, I think we are short a card. No, we're not. Okay, all the cards are in, and we haven't gotten down to seven yet. So uh, is that right? it is seven, isn't it? Let me double check. Fewer than seven. Okay, so we have to get down to six. All right, and we are at... Three, four, five, six, seven. We are at seven. Next, um, you know, if, if I take any bricks, then new ones are going to fill up on Jen's turn, and she will get first dibs on the new bricks that come out. So what am I going to do? Well, I've only got one brick. It's a red brick. And um, But now there is a target. Build red bricks at the Porta Negra. So, oh, and this is interesting. Right. Well, okay, but I cannot buy, I could buy one red brick, but I need, remember, to build on the Porta Negra, you have to be at least three high. I've only got one. So I could buy another white brick and a red brick and then build here, but that'd be pretty expensive, particularly since there are other Porta Negra cards out. So I probably want to wait on that. So what do I want to do? Well, if I'm not going to be doing any much building, this is not the card to use because it has two builds and no, so I don't think I'm going to use this card. I think this is the card I'm going to play, which gives me three actions. And what do I want to do? I think I want to get five bucks as well. I want to stay rolling in dough. And now I could get two. Let's see. I've got a red. Hmm. It's interesting. I could buy a white. And then a white plus a red means I, effectively I have two reds. And I could take this spot right here and get seven points. Now, I would not be getting any kind of bonus. But if I then just build one more brick, I'll have three bricks in this area and I can get another five bucks and another worker. So maybe I just want to stay here. Plus, I'll be trying to get on the majority for each of the three rows, which is important. What the heck? Let's go for that. So I made some money. I bought a white brick, which cost me five, which is the money I just made. So I bought a white brick and now I'm going to build. And I mean, this white brick, a single white brick by itself, I could build right here to get five points. And I could build a red to get here, but I'm going to combine these two together to come up here and get seven points. So that puts me at 24, all right? So 17, 24. And those are my three actions. And oh, I have to put a worker on here to indicate this is my build. Got to remember to do that. And so that was that. 
And right. And so we're starting to get low on cards. I mean, this round is almost over. Jen's turn. What is she going to do? She's got a lot of bricks. She jumped over here. She's got this triple black now. Which, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so what is Jen going to do? Um, she could do a, a, a buy and a build or a privilege and a build. Two buys and a, she wants some more money. I think she'll go for this one. So she's going to play this. That gives her two actions. <clears throat> And I think for starters, she, let's see, wait, hold on a second. Where is she right now? So she's still here. In this area, all she could do, she could buy another white brick. It's the, oh wait, oh, shoot, I forgot though. Before she does anything, before she plays her card, remember, you gotta, right, you have to refill cards and we are down, we are below seven, so we have to refill the market. I forgot to do that. How does that work? Well, these tiles. These are the tiles that filled the market up originally at the beginning of the game. Now I'm gonna draw more tiles to, to fill and we have to keep drawing tiles and fill it up till we get to at least 14. We're at what, six right now, so let's start filling. Let's see, so this says, uh, another blue, another red, and another yellow comes out. So that's nine. And then this says, ooh, so we're at 13. Of, so wow, still not very many white bricks are coming out. And let's see, so we're at 13 now, right? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So one more, and ooh, this says four more came out, all right. So one, and another white, so there's two whites now, and a whole bunch of reds, yellows, and blues. But black and white are, are huge. Okay, that actually changes Jen's mind a bit. Okay, I think instead she is gonna play this one that lets her buy two card, buy, buy two. And she's gonna buy and buy and she's gonna to continue to hold the monopoly. So that only cost her one buck to get the only black brick. She's gonna hold that monopoly. And I think she's gonna buy another white brick because there are very few of those. Wow, okay. And so now, what does she wanna do? Does she wanna build? Well, she just spent five bucks. So I think she's just gonna get five bucks back. All right, so that was her turn. Yikes, okay. So that was that. And um, it's back to me. And what am I up to? <clears throat> okay, wow, Jen's got a lot of bricks to build with. And I have nothing. I can't build at all if I don't start buying some bricks. So I think this is the card I'm going to play because the other one won't let me buy bricks at all. So now this is interesting. I could buy any color I want and I can buy black. But unfortunately, you'll notice the black market is empty. There are no black bricks to buy. And you'll notice here kind of in small print, this indicates that this be um, if there are no black bricks to buy, this becomes a wild card. So this card is as if I have two gray question marks. So both of these are buy any color you want. So, because Jen cleared out the black brick market, I can get anything I want now, except of course for black. So, I think for starters, I am definitely, and I only have two actions here, I'm gonna buy a white brick, because once again, they have completely gone out of favor. They're totally gone. We're drowning in these other colors. So I better buy a white brick while the getting's good. And I've got one more action. You know, I'm actually tempted to get a privilege. I think I will, I'll take a privilege. All right, so those are my two actions. This card is gone. Before I'm done, do I want to spend this privilege? I could spend this privilege to get three points and a, a torch for a bonus action, or I could save up to get more privileges. Because privileges, you can, I mean, I need two privileges for most of these things. Also, privileges can be used for a build. If you, um, if you want to do a build action and your cards don't say, you can spend two privileges to do an action. If you are out of workers and you haven't earned bonuses, you can spend two privileges to get a worker. So privileges have a lot of functions. So I'll grab the privilege. I could spend it right now to get three points and a bonus action, but I'm going to wait a little bit because I might want to save up for one of the better ones, like say, another white brick, because this means I can take a white brick from, even though there's no more, I could still get a white brick. So that was my turn. I played that one, right? All right, and so Jen's turn, and what is she gonna do? She has all the bricks. I think she might wanna stop collecting bricks and start building now. And hey, what do you know? With that in mind, a double brick builder came up. So she's gonna take this card, gives her three actions, and so two of them are going to be builds, and one of them will either be to get a privilege or a torch. She'll think about that in a, for a, in a second. But let's see. In the meantime, what does she want to do? Hmm. <laughs> okay. So she could. She has one white. She has one yellow and four black. <coughs> All right. 
And unfortunately, the Porto Negra does not want, uh, she has enough to build a tall tower in Porto Negra. The interesting thing about Porto Negra, I haven't mentioned it yet, um, on all the other spaces, we're competing on these rows, but in the Porta Negra, we are trying to build high. We're trying to build tall because we're competing on on heights. Where are we? Oh, I'm sorry, we're here. Heights three tall, four tall, five, six, seven, eight. So whoever has the most towers over here that are say four tall gets 15 points. Whoever has the most towers that are six tall get 24 points. And now if you ever have a tie, like for instance, we have a tie over here um, to get the 20 points for whoever has put the most on the wall. Both Jen and I have done one. The tiebreaker is who did the nicer stuff. And Jen, white is nicer than red. So currently Jen is winning on the wall. She's bound to get 20 points. I'm bound to get 10. Now, of course, we're a long ways off. So anyway, so that's all. There's just so much stuff that goes into every single build, trying to get those area bonuses, trying to get these set collections. Hmm, trying to get these bonuses too. Let's see. Oh, whoops. And Jen moved over here last turn to build on the wall. I totally forgot to move her there. I'm sure I paid for it. I just didn't move her. So this is where she is. So she could build on the wall more. She could build another yellow. Heck, she could build this double yellow using the white. And then she's got three here, which will get her another white. That's pretty cool. Yeah, what the heck? Let's get, so Jen's first build is she's going to take the white and the yellow to build... That gets her nine points, um, so that puts her up to 17. So she's catching up with me. And she's got three in this region. That means she just got herself another white. So she kind of broke even. She used a white, she got it right back. And she's the clear majority on the wall now. And for tiebreakers, she's got some of the best spots on the wall as well. So that 20 points at the end of the game is looking good for her. Now that was her first build. Now for her second build. Uh, see, she's got a single white. She could come all the way over here. Um... Oh, whoops. Oh, that's what it is. Right, right, right. Jen decided not to move. So she never built this before. She says that and that. That's why that wasn't here. That's why I hadn't taken that. So that's why Jen was here. So the first thing she did, she came over here. She spent one buck to come over here. Sorry, folks. I got a little confused there, as I often do. So she came over here. She built here with uh, that. So she hasn't earned this bonus yet. But she did get all that. And now for her second build, she'll just stay where she is. She'll build this white, which she'd been planning to do earlier. That got her five. One, two, three, four, five. And now that unlocked a white for her. So those were the two builds she did. She still got one more action. She owns this wall. And let's see. So she get a privilege. She could get a torch. What does she want to do? And she could get that torch. Or she could get that privilege, which would let her immediately do another build this turn so she could get a lot done. Does she want to do that? The interesting thing too is, man, so she's got these four. If she considered this black, she effectively has a tower of five. She could come over to the Porta Negra and build a five story uh, addition to the Porta Negra, which means um, you know she'd be on the rolls for scoring 19 points. Although building black in the Porta Negra isn't really, I mean, it's only worth one point. So she wouldn't get a lot of points, but she would potentially be scoring a lot of points for building tall, but I don't think she wants to do that. Does she want to take the, the thing to get another build? Because with all these blacks, she could come over here to the amphitheater. Oh wait, oh, but first of all, she did get this white. I forgot about that, she just built that, so she got that white. She would like to get a full set. So building in the Porta Negra and building in the amphitheater are both important to her. There is the opportunity to build black here. So I think she is. She's gonna, her third action will be to get a, another privilege. She will use it immediately to get another build. And so this goes away. And her other build, she will spend one, two to move over there to the amphitheater. And she will build, hmm, let's see. If she builds a triple, she'll only get five points, but she will get five dollars and a builder. But if she just builds a double, that means she's got two more and she could build another one over here and get a torch and a thing. What does she want to do more? There's no more black out there. Either way, building a double or a triple is going to get her that card in the amphitheater. Um, yeah, I think she'll only build a double because I think she'd rather get the bonus of a torch for an extra action instead of five bucks. So she's got some money right now. So she came over there. She built a double. And that got her three points. One, two, three. She's pulled into the lead, folks. So that was that. She played that. So she's down to... Okay, so my turn again. Right, and so we got some new cards coming out because Jen took some. 
and another target card. Another, oh wow. So now all, and now Jen is kicking herself because finally a black target card for the Porto Negra for the black gate. And now Jen can't do it because she has to build at least three and she only has two. Although she could, she could use a white, but that's incredibly wasteful to use a white to, to be a, a black, oh, filler. Wow. Okay, well, let's worry about that in a second because it's my turn now. So I still have almost nothing to build with. So I think this double build card is not very attractive for me. I'll do this one and it gives me three actions. And for starters, I think I'm going to buy and I'm going to buy because I need some bricks. So now if I want to buy blue, I got to come all the way over here to the wall. But this gray I could buy anywhere. So do I want to buy a yellow while I'm here? Or do I want to come over here, buy two blue, and then get myself on the wall? Yeah, that seems pretty good. I'll go one, two. Oh, wait, 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 wait where is he? Where do, oh, no, no, no. All right, so I'm going to do two buys. I'll spend two bucks to come over here by the wall. And it gives me some change. And see, so I'm just going to buy two blues. And that costs me four bucks. All right, so I'm starting to run low on cash. I've got two blues. Because what I want to do is, if I can buy one more blue and then come over here to the black gate, I could build a three-story and that would get me this bonus. So, but in the meantime, so that means I'm not going to build this turn. So I'm going to do something else. What's my third action going to be? Do I, oh, I think I'll just get another privilege. So I'll start saving up on privileges. Okay. And so that was that card. And I'm down to my last two cards. And I'll say, I've got two privileges. Are there, suddenly I have a whole bunch of cards over here I could grab. Are there any I want to grab? Oh, I'm tempted to do this and get a white. Oh, or I could do this and get 10 bucks which is the equivalent of two white bricks. Or I could do this, get seven bucks and an extra action. Wow, there's a lot of options. Or I could grab one of these. Like if I never build in the Basilica, this can still count as if I have built in the Basilica so I can go for my set to get 20 points. So those are all very, very good. But you know what? I don't have to buy any of them right now. I'm not gonna buy any of them. I'll wait until, I'll wait and see what I need to buy. Okay, so Jen's turn. Okay. And she's kicking herself. So there's no more black bricks to buy and there won't be for a while to be able to get into the Porta Negra. So I guess, oops, I moved. I meant to move myself over here, not Jen, right? So there's Jen. <sighs> What's Jen gonna do? She's down to 12 bucks. She could buy and build or privilege and build or buy, buy. Yeah, I think she'll play this card because she's in the yellow region. So she's got three actions. She'll buy a yellow brick. She doesn't have any, what the heck? They cost four bucks. Yellow brick. So, and she could buy something else. She could get five more dollars. She could get another privilege or she could buy something else. Although she'd have to move to buy. I think she'll just get five bucks. She'll keep her money coming. And does she want to get a privilege? Does she want to build? <sighs> hmm. I think she does. I think she wants to build. So she'll build, which is going to cost her one buck. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh wait, but no, there's no benefit for building the Basilica now. It's all Porta Negra all the time. Oh wait, whoops, I totally forgot. When Last turn when she built here, she got this because she built, all right, and so she got that and that meant on my turn, I had the opportunity to build yellow, which I didn't do, what the heck. Um, I was focused on other stuff. So Jen's over here and now that's interesting to her. She just picked up a yellow. You know what? I think Jen is gonna build. She's gonna spend two bucks. To go one, two, join me over on the wall, and she's gonna build a yellow. Now this is kind of getting dangerous. Hold on a second, hold on a second. If she does this, that's her last Roman. So she won't be able to build anymore unless she gets multiple privileges and turns them in for Romans. So that's kind of scary too. Okay, so hold on, yes, that's, that's a bit too dangerous to completely bankrupt herself of Romans. But does she want to build? I think she is still, good. Nah. but building on the Basilica right now is not great. Oh, I think it's a bit crazy, but what the heck, she's gonna do it. She's gonna pay three bucks for this build, and she's gonna drive all the way around the world to get to the port, the, the Black Gate, and she's gonna use this white as a wild, so wasteful to build, remember you have to build at least three, she is built on the Porta Negra. Now, um, each black brick is only worth one point, so she just scored three points. One, two, three, not that exciting. But since she has three on the Porta Negra, she does get two, because this was worrying her. She was down to so many workers, and she got a privilege. So that was worth it. Plus, she just snagged this. And that's 20 points for her. She's got 20 points right there.
But if she gets a second privilege, she could spend two privileges to upgrade that 20 points into 30 points. So that's pretty nice. All right, so that was Jen's big move. And so she's down to her last two cards. I'm down to my last two cards. Which one am I gonna play? All right, and so Jen's got one full set. And so on the beginning of my turn, another card came out. It's another white target for the amphitheater. And we're not down to six bricks yet, so that doesn't refill. What am I gonna do? I got my two blues and my, right. Right, okay, that's what I was gonna do. I too will, let's say, oh, which one am I gonna play? I think I'm gonna play this one, because I, all right, so, because I don't have a lot to build with, so I'm gonna play with this one. So I could buy two times, right. So, first of all, I'm gonna buy, and it's gonna cost me one, two bucks to buy my third blue. And then I'm gonna buy again. And that's gonna cost me two bucks to buy my fourth blue. And then my last action is I'm gonna build, and it's gonna cost me my last buck to scrape over here to the port, the Port of Negra, and I am gonna build a mighty four-story tower. Boom, okay. Now, that's two, blues are worth two times four, that's eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points, I'm back in the lead, which is not necessarily a good thing in all honesty, but I'll talk about that in a second, but I just got two more workers and a third privilege. Wow. You know what I'm tempted to do? I'm gonna spend this third privilege to grab this card and use it, which gets me three points, one, two, three, and a torch, and then I'm gonna use that torch immediately on my card and get five bucks. Because I don't wanna to be totally broke, and I was just about to be totally broke. So that was pretty nice. So, pretty good, and I just snagged this card. Nice, okay, so I'm almost at a set myself. And so then on Jen's turn, another target card comes out and another Honor card comes out, ooh, double, double torches. Okay, Jen's turn, what is she gonna do? She's still got plenty of money, she can't build much though. All right, she can um, She could buy a lot, she could build, she could get some more privileges, where does she wanna go, what does she wanna do? She's got one yellow. Building yellow on the Basilica would be great, because it would get her that and it would get her a bonus because she'd have more than three bricks on the Basilica. But she only has one yellow. So, I think this is her plan. She's gonna play this card, she gets two actions. First, she is gonna buy, it's any color. She's gonna spend one buck to move over here to buy a yellow. We're almost out of yellows. <coughs> and then she's going to build, which is gonna spend one more buck to travel over here to build these two yellows. And now she has a majority on this row and a majority on this row. And that just got her nine points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And she has th more than three in this region, so she just got herself a torch and another builder. All right, so that was pretty good. And she's got that torch. She could turn this in for, I think she will. She'll turn in for a privilege. She's got two privileges. So that was that. And now she's got two privileges. And she's got to be a little bit worried about this. I think so. I think she's going to use these two privileges immediately. And she's going to buy this 30-point upgrade. Remember, she this is 20 points. She's going to convert this into 30 points. So she has made 10 points off those two privileges. Very nice. And now she's completely out of stuff to buy. So she's kind of hit a dead end. All right. And so back to me. This is my last card of the round. I can't play anything more. And how did this happen? I've got two opportunities to build and I've only got one thing to build with. Ah! And it's a single white. And there's no... Oh no, I could. I could build over here for a single white. Which won't give me... Oh, actually, and you'll notice it says, hey, build a white, um, uh, a white in the amphitheater. You'd think that'd be great, but you notice this little no for C. Building on the single height won't get me this bonus. I need to build at least a double white to be able to get there. So how do I do this? I have a plan, folks. All right. Since Jen used her two privileges and got the 30 that I was saving up for, first thing, oh, and by the way, at the beginning of my turn, this should have come out. An oh, another 30-pointer. Okay, that's nice. Right. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to set, I'm going to trade in my two privileges to get a white brick. So now I've got two white bricks. Then I got three actions. I'm gonna build. And so I'm gonna have to pay one buck to move. That gives me four bucks and change. Ta-da! I got my two whites over here. And that gives me 11 points. Uh, 35, was it 35? 46. 
And that means I've just, uh, I just went from having five to seven. So I've gotten this bonus again. That's given me another builder and another five bucks. Yoza. And I am the clear leader on this row and this row. So I've got total majority of the Basilica now. And I just got my white amphitheater. Or I'm sorry, amphitheater. Now, this is starting a second set. I still need to build in the Basilica, which I haven't done yet. But I'm starting a second set to get 20 points as well. All right, so that was my... And that was... I, I've only done one of my actions. So I've still got two more. I have nothing to build with, so I think my other two will be to get a torch and a privilege. All right, and that's it. And then I could use this torch to build again, but I won't bother with that because I got nothing to build with. So that was that. That was my last turn of round one. And now Jen's last turn of round one. She also has nothing to build with. Let's see. She could buy two things. And she's got money, so she could buy two things and then um, build one last time or get a privilege or get some money. What does she want to do? Oh, but of course, new cards came out. Red in the Basilica and... One privilege, oh, let's move it over here to the other cheapies. One privilege for, four, ooh, that's hard to say no to. One privilege for a torch and four bucks. Totes. Jen is going to get a privilege, which she is going to use immediately to get this, to get a torch and four bucks. Pretty happy with that. All right, and now she's got two more actions. So now she could buy one thing and do a build. Are there any single builds she could do that are worthwhile? See, she can build here. There's a few on the wall. Building a single yellow on the wall will get her that. But to do that, she'd have to go one, two, three to get to where the yellow is, and then one, two to get to her wall. She'd have to spend five bucks to do that. She has the money, but that's kind of crazy. What else? What other options are there? <clears throat> Let's see. Now, if she just builds a single here, that's what she wants to do. I think, in fact, what Jen's going to do is, even though it's not going to get her a bonus, she's going to buy a yellow and then she's gonna build. That yellow is gonna cost her four, and it's the last yellow on the board, and then she's gonna build with it right where she is. That gets her four points, one, two, three, four, and she now has three in this area, so she just got another worker and five more bucks. So she can keep the spice flowing, and now she's got a torch. She could do another action if she wants, what are we down to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the 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 uh, the market is not going to refill yet. I don't. I think I think she was holding on to that torch. So that's it. That was her final card. Okay. <laughs> wow. That was a very eventful first round, folks. We got a lot of stuff built. Um, Jen's got thirty points. I've got twenty points in the beginning of a second set. There's different majorities all over the place. Jen's majority on the wall, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But now at the end of the round. We do an intermediate scoring. And what that means is, in player order, and I'm still the first player, at this point anyway, we count up the number of bricks we've built. I've built 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that means I can now either take 12 points, $12, or any combination, 6 and 6, or 10 and 2, or whatever. And I have to pick before Jen does. And now the interesting thing is, whoever is in last place on the score marker gets to choose who will be first next turn. So if I just take nothing but money, Jen might take some points, get ahead of me. But I think Jen wants to stay behind me in points so she can choose who is first in the second round. So then, I mean, and since I'm already ahead of her, I figure I'm, um, I'm going to stay ahead of her. So what do I, now I already have a fair bit of money. Although Jen has more. So should I take it all as money? What was it? It was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, one, oh, I thought it was 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Do I just take 12 bucks? You know what? I think I'll take 10 and I'll take two points. All right. And now Jen has to make the same choice. She built 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I think Jen, um, Jen likes round numbers. She'll take four points. 1, 2, 3, 4 to get up to 45. And what did I just say she had? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So she'll take nine bucks. All right, there we go. And since Jen is um, behind, she chooses who will be first going into the second round. She will choose herself. Now, in the final round of the game, you often find you want to let yourself be the last player because in a game where there's so many area majorities going on, being the last player is hugely powerful, as you might imagine, because then you can be the last person to sneak in and you know finalize a majority. So that's very, very important at the end of the second round to be um, behind in points so you can make yourself last player in the last round. But in the second round, in the, going into the second round, you want to be first player because you want to be, get first dibs on stuff. Well, maybe not necessarily, but, you know. So 
All right, so I mean, that means Jen is basically going to get two turns in a row. She just finished her turn. If she makes herself first, she'll get to go first again. Um, and what we have to do now is, let's see, we make sure everything's full. Our decks are empty, so we take our decks and we totally reshuffle them as best we can with one hand. Uh, that's just, all right, so we'll see. That's kind of shuffled. What the heck? That's shuffled. So you reshuffle, you draw two, and you start again. Um, and uh, and you, you keep refilling the market and the cards as they go, and you just keep on building higher and higher and higher, worrying at all times about... The, right, right now, Jen's got area majority here. I've got area majority on the four height. She's got area majority on the three height. I've got area majority on these two rows. She's got it on that one. She's got it on both of these. She's uh, ahead of me in points in terms of builds. And we're very neck and neck on the board. So it's anybody's game at this point as we move into round two. And that, folks, is what Porta Negra is all about. And now, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit the little I up the top right corner screen or go follow the show notes to hit the link in five, four, three, two, one.